So this is literally like my third time trying to make this video. So excuse the audio and excuse the, the lighting. This video was talking about working for Apple computers, strictly the retail side, not corporate side. And what I have to say in this video in no way reflects the views and opinions of Apple computers. This is just my experiences only. So now that I got the legal stuff out of the way. I worked there for about two years and this is mainly addressing people who want to work for the company or who um, are have an interview coming up with them. So yeah, it's an awesome place to work for. I've learned so much working, working for them. I learned um, how to speak to people correctly, uh, certain words to use and, and what they call verbiage and things to say and things like that. So if you apply for the company, most likely, if you're lucky, you'll get an email welcoming you to, to an interview. The type of interview I had was a one-on-one -on -one interview and I had an interview with four people. Okay, not in the same day, this was all on different days. So I had to keep going back four times. And uh, it that was really rig rigorous, but it's, it's a lot better than the second way they probably hire people, which is in a group interview. They'll send out emails and a whole bunch of people will show up on a certain day and time. That's the one I don't really like because you really have to outshine the person that's next to you and, and things like that. So one-on-one -on -one interviews, I think are a lot easier to really convey what type of person you are and you get to be with them one-on-one, -on -one, as opposed in a group setting where you would have to stand out. Everyone in that room is, is either just as awesome or awesomer, more of a person than you are. So that's what I mean, but you know, yeah. So if you do have a group interview, just be yourself. Don't seem overly cocky. And, and don't be shy, just like just be yourself. And that's really the best advice I can give you when it comes to that. When it comes to interview questions, I can't really tell you that, because I, I sat in interviews and I've also been in group interviews and I've been in a lot of interviews on the retail side, so I've seen a lot go on. There's really no questions that they will ask every single person, you know, whether it be in a one-on-one -on -one interview and in a group interview, what I'm trying to what I'm trying to say is, I can't tell you they're going to tell you this because they're not going to tell you that. They might tell you something different. What I can tell you is that they may ask you questions that pertain to things like this. If you were in a circus, what job role would you have? Those type of questions. There is no right or wrong answer. They just want to know what kind of person you are, and that's just another way of saying it. By instead of asking what kind of person are you, like for example, if I was in a circus, most likely my role would be backstage because I don't want to be the person at the front door and I don't want to be the ringleader with all the attention and I wouldn't want to clean the animals. I would rather be backstage, meaning in control of lighting, control of audio and knowing who's up next and who's not up next and that. So I like being backstage because to me, it's like more of a control thing. And so that's what would be my personality. And so like I said, there's, and, and you might be the person who would want to be in the middle and the whole ringleader. So like I said, there's no wrong or right answer, just the way of them knowing what kind of person you are. Um, there, you don't necessarily have to, to be an, an Apple lover or fanatic to work there. Because when I was working there, they hired people who knew nothing at all. And, and I think that's kind of good because they got to learn. Everything was new to them. And then you'll they'll hire people who just know a lot, not like me. But anyways, working there is a good place to work. Your coworkers will be some of the most smartest people you'll ever meet in the world, trust me. And they're my friends even after I left the company, so it's a really good place to work. Uh, why I left the company was for personal reasons. I wanted to, to do other things with my life. I think I was there for about two years or even more, and I had a great time working there, and I don't regret it. And every time I have a, went to an interview, that having that company that you worked for there it's like, they're like, wow, you work at Apple? How was it? And then that whole just goes into a snowball or something else, things like that. You don't have to own any Apple stuff to work there either. Because like I said, they'll, they'll teach you everything. If you're lucky enough to actually get hired, then you will go to what they call a core, which is like maybe three or four days of actual training and learning about the culture and what's expected of you. So if you don't know anything about the company, it's during that, that training Stuff is when you actually learn a lot about the company. And then after core, um, you'll basically work in the store and um, you'll what they call shadow, which is you won't really be actually working, but you'll just be observing a lot of things, which is normally because most companies have a couple day training and then like uh, 
on the job training type thing after. So yeah, so that's normal. Um, but it's that part is really when you'll really don't do not get overwhelmed. I'm trying to say if you're lucky to make because it's easy to get overwhelmed with everything that's going on. But if you just take it one day at a time and take it slow and have confidence in yourself, then you'll make it. Same thing with the interview process. If you get nervous, just take it slow and just take it one question at a time. And just really just be yourself and you'll make it farther than I think you would ever think you would make it. So yeah, so I'm trying to think of any other questions that anyone might ask. Um, hmm, I think that's it. Like I said, this is just a retail, about Apple retail. Oh, I do have my shirt here. I do have my shirt kept it for a while but yeah it's a cool place to work when you go to your interviews don't go all dressed up like what I'm wearing now is totally fine but don't go in a suit and tie because this is Apple retail I don't think it's that seriously to be to be taken that seriously when it comes to dress code suit and tie type I think it is serious enough to go well dressed like I am now but don't you don't need to go all out like if you're going to prom or anything like that uh, because it is it, it's a very laid-back atmosphere it's a high pace atmosphere as well, but I think when it comes to dress code, it, you can wear shorts, stuff like that. That's what I'm trying to say. I wouldn't wear shorts in an interview though, maybe to work I would, but yeah. If you have any other questions, go ahead and just um, write me and um, Twitter me. I have everything down there, and I wish you all the best of luck and, and things like that. If I have any other updates, I'll probably put them down in this video, but I think I've said I pretty much everything I have to say. Um, but then again, you might have questions, and I'll answer them as they come. So take it easy and uh, hope to hear from you soon.